Hello viewers and welcome to Elimu TV where we learn and experience. We are going to have our um, fifth lesson by biology form one, whereby our topic will be the cell. Under the subtopic uh, cell structure as seen under the light and electron microscope. Your tutor will be Mr. Gerald. Welcome. Uh, <coughs> we are, we are going to have the following lesson goals such for which should be reached by the end of the lessons. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify all the structures as seen under the light and elec electron microscope. Because as we are aware that um, there are two uh, microscopes, which is the light and electron microscope, and uh, the structures which are seen under the light and uh, electron microscope, they are varying. Uh, well, the diagram, as you can see, these are a generalized plant cell as seen under the light microscope. This one, uh, when you shall, uh, we shall uh, you observe it using the electron microscope, there are e uh, other uh, structures, which are additional structures, which you will be able to observe using the electron microscope. But in this, uh, in our lesson, first we are going to deal with the light microscope. As you can see, there are different uh, structures. These structures in biology, they are known as organelles. That is, uh, the organelles are the structures within a, within a cell. For example, you, uh, you can be able to identify the, the nucleus, the vacuole, whereby the vacuole, as you can see, is that it contains a fluid known as the cell sub. We also have the uh, chloroplast, whereby we shall look at um, the different functions of the organelles uh, in our later um, lesson. But in this case, let us just look at the general structure. We also have uh, the cell membrane, whereby the cell membrane is uh, pressed close to the cell wall. But uh, different, uh, on a different note, if you are, you'll be able to observe the animal cell, it will, not, uh, it will, lack, it will lack the cell wall. Uh, there, we shall uh, discuss that one in our next lesson, but for this case, let us uh, look at the, this plant cell, it has got a cell wall. Unlike uh, an animal cell, we can also see the, there is the cytoplasm. Um, as you are aware, uh, in our diagram there, these are generalized animal cells as seen under the electron microscope. As I had said earlier on, when you observe an, an, uh, either, for example, this animal uh, cell, you can see there are more organelles as unlike when you observe using the light microscope. This the reason is because the electron microscope, it has, it, it has, um, it has a more resolving power such that it is able to identify finer details about um, any organelle that you are observing. There are different uh, organelles in the animal cell as you can see we have got uh, several of them like the cell membrane we're able to see we have the cytoplasm we have the ribosomes we have the nucleus we have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum we have the lysosome we have the chloroplast cell wall uh, with us we are still have the Avacuol, we have the Golgi bodies, the nucleolus, mitochondrion, the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Um, on um, uh, just at a glance, we can see, for the example, the ribosomes. And the function of the ribosomes is the manufacture of proteins. Uh, we have uh, another organelle like the rough endoplasmic reticulum, whereby its function is to th the transport of uh, proteins. We have um, mitochondrion. That is, uh, in singular, it is called the mitochondrion, while in plural, it is the mitochondria. At uh, the function of the mitochondria, this is the site for energy production in the body. Whereby, um, in simple term, we can say that um, this is whereby energy in the body is produced. As we know that uh, the body requires um, energy for it to, uh, for its uh, functions. We can see also there is another organelle there known uh, like the lysosome. The function of the lysosome is um, this is an organelle that um, secretes the lytic enzyme, which destroys um, worn out organelles, like the, all the entire cell. For example, you might uh, find that um, a cell is worn out or it has uh, become old in the body. It will be the function of the lysosome to secrete the lytic enzymes, which uh, goes to destroy that, um, that um, cell. Having uh, said that, we have now, these are the, these na this is the diagrammatic representation of the, now the structure. For example, the cell membrane, as, as, um, as the cell membrane, we have seen it in our 
diagram i can see now you are able to identify the cell membrane now here with us is the diagrammatic representation of the structure of the cell membrane as you can see uh the cell uh the cell membrane uh it has got a uh, transport um that is um the cell membrane is also known as the plasma membrane or you can call it a plasma lemma it is the outer covering that encloses the uh, contents and regulates the movement of materials in and out of the cell as you can see in our diagram we have the outside of the cell and the inside of the cell whereby uh, the inside of the cell is whereby we shall find the uh, the cytoplasm the cell membrane it is made up of a double layer or in other words we can call the double layer I by a uh, by lipid layer that is by layer by means two uh, the layer is made up of phospholipids with proteins embedded in uh, or, or attached to the phospholipids the cell membrane has got pores and is flexible uh, I, I guess that you are able to identify the pores that is the, on the outside of the cell as um, towards the inside of the cell it is selectively permeable by selectively permeable in simpler terms we can see it is semi permeable I have, as you understand that the semi means half so it allows only the small materials to pass in in uh, in um, but it denies the larger uh, materials uh, hmm. having uh, said that we have our second uh, structure and I, as I have seen as I have said this is called the mitochondrion Sing, uh, that is in singular in plural it is the mitochondria that is um, and mitochondria is it has got a different adaptation so we shall see that one later on the adaptation of the mitochondria but at a glance we are able to see that the, there is the inner membrane the inner membrane which is highly folded it is highly folded into um, projections known as the crystal we have the matrix the matrix is the f uh, fluid f filled um, cavity we have got the DNA we have got the granules and the ITP synthesis particles those are the, the, the uh, those are the different uh, organelles that we have seen but now next lesson we shall observe the we shall uh, be able to identify the different uh, the other uh, organelles having done that we are going to have the following activity you give the function of the following organelles one the cell membrane and the mitochondrion for, uh, for further reference you can uh, refer from the secondary biology students book one that is klb nairobi kenya literature bureau for further information um in this uh, class we can uh, send us an sms in the number 22518 or you conduct us on our facebook page which is elim tv or uh, you tweet us on our twitter um, at elimu underscore kenya stay tuned and let us learn together thank you